We should stock up on supplies before we begin our next mission. Already done, brother. You guys have a ton of plasma up here, and like, no shotgun shells. I'll catch you later. I gotta go hang out with Elder Maxon. He's the only one around here young enough to get me. If it looks dead, put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the chance? Well, maybe this chick gets me too. If these Brotherhood of Steel guys weren't techno hammerite weirdos, this place would be tits. Money should be good, though. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I was lying before, kids. I'm actually on the most important quest in this whole game. The one that is the first step in saving this wasteland from itself. I'm here for that sweet, sweet pimp coat. There is nothing more valuable, nothing more sick. Look at the fur lining. It's beautiful. When I cruise through Good Neighbor in this thing, I'm gonna be ass deep in radioactive snatch. I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. That's real nice of you. What were we talking about? First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape. Do I get the code so then? To take There's no code option in this dialogue. This is just inferior to New Vegas in every way. By recruiting, you mean they forced her to join. Being at war leaves little room for compassion. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. This, Lee. I, I don't know, that seems like a schlep. I know I can get that giant robot when I help the Brotherhood, and I might be able to get the code off of him later. If I side with the fucking Brotherhood. Ugh. Is there a point to all that? Just giving you the proper background, soldier. Getting a bit Let's see. Oh, perfect. If it looks dead, put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the chance? Ad Victorian, motherfuckers! Woo. They are not happy with me, obviously. But Elder Maxon always seemed like a dick who only got there because of nepotism. I have no idea what to do next. I mean, I could do story missions, but why? I find that Fallout 4 is best when you wander, you know? Like that song from the game I can't play without getting a copyright claim. Could always just poke around the wasteland, see what I could find. Traders welcome, that's not at all suspicious. Let's check it out. I hear someone. Combat positions. Oh, that sounds like gunners. I hate gunners. Oh, it's just it's just raiders, no problem. I've collected some fine weapons over the course of this playthrough, and this one is neat. I forget the original name of it, but I call it the glow sticker. It's a radioactive submachine gun that turns raiders into paste. What the fuck was that? Ah! I have XO1 power armor and a jetpack. So if the AI in this game was any good, they would run away and let me ransack the place. Well, that was an extended sequence of pointless violence. Let's wander on down the road a little. Honestly, I didn't think this would come back to bite me in the ass quite so soon. Hmm, let's see. My boring but practical combat rifle should do the job. I didn't even craft this one, it just showed up on a gunner somewhere. You! Oh, sorry. Thought you might be one of those toy ah! You don't have the burn. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. Uh, hey, I just cleared the Brotherhood out of your farm, dude. Can I get a hell yeah? It takes a lot more than a bunch of punks to scare me. Maybe that's because you ain't got a farm and a family to think about. Oh yeah, motherfucker? Well, I'll have you know that I live on Spectacle Island with my beer-brewing robot and my synth bestie, Nick Valentine. So... That bastard son of mine, Jake. 
snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. Okay, now you've got my attention. Quest for a sword. That's good stuff. That's glory. That's the stuff Wasteland Legends are built on. I've got caps, if that's what you want. I mean, I want the sword, but... Industrial buildings like that are pretty dangerous. I see what you're getting at. 200 caps if you can bring it back for me. Cool, I could buy five plasma cartridges, thanks. You're doing me a big favor. And I'll make it up to you as best as I can. Oh, I just love the Forged. Raiders and Pyromaniacs. Just fucking great. I remember doing this mission in another playthrough with shitty armor. Fuck the Forged. Suck my railgun. Oh boy, I can get a nice flamethrower. Which is useless to me because I have this gun here. My personal favorite weapon. The Plasenwerfer. These fuckers think they're playing with fire. Here we go, a Protectron. Let's turn him into a Fire Brigadier model and set him loose. He's gonna be useless to me, but I'm gonna like hearing him lecture the Forge about how unsafe their conditions are. The object you are holding appears to be a fire hazard. Please dispose of it. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But, They're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. This kid sucks and I think his family might be better off without him. Kids die in the wasteland all the time. I mean, they don't live too far from Deathclaw Country. And even I have trouble with them. Even if they have been nerfed since the last game. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Yeah, but I kind of need that. It's part of my ascension to king. And you know, you seem like the kind of guy who knows what I'm all about. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, we all know how this is gonna go. Walk away, Jake. Please, let me you go! Don't have to do What's this? it gonna You're be, right. Jake? I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the Forged. I just want to go home. Last chance, Jake. If you don't kill the prisoner before I count to three... <sighs> One guy left, let's see. He fell off the railing. Oh, I better shoot him good. Guess my good karma's paying off. <coughs> wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. Whatever. Whatever. Still mad at me, huh? I'm not mad, Jake. I'm just disappointed. I, I know I've got no right to ask. But I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with people. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. Yeah, sure, I'll see you there, kid. Just stay out of tr- Oh, no. Oh, God, why? Why would you do that? His dad is gonna be pissed. What the? Boy, I told you that Abraham, what's going on? Face here again, I... Is that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Turns out he's fine. Wait, Only counts uh, if I kill him. Now it's time for a family reunion. A lot of these characters you can't really tell how old they are. Except this old lady who's a caravan guard. If she's that old guard in caravans, I don't want to fuck with her. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's something for your help. I think you should hang on to that sword. What a coincidence. So do I. But I gotta go home and try it out. Give it a little bit of a test run before I take it out in the wild. Hey Nick, come here, I wanna try something. <laughs> it's okay, he's not people. Where? He has a pipe pistol. That's adorable. Thank God I can ditch this power armor, it's suffocating, but you need it sometimes, like when everybody's trying to set you on fucking fire. That's what this coat is really for, kids, because once you put a ballistic weave on it, no worries. You might need a ton of stim packs, but this is Fallout 4 on normal, so I only have like three dozen on me. What I really need is some raiders, some cannon fodder to test out my fiery new blade. 
Okay, these raiders are dicks. There's one in power armor, and if he got anywhere near me... Well, that's my bad, it was a she. I'd kind of like to set up a workshop here. It's dark, it's a little spooky, but it's got nice verticality. Only problem is these horrible flashbacks. I don't do drugs in Fallout 4. This isn't Postal Kids. This is a stay in school, don't do drugs, clean your room kind of game. Oh, this guy's legendary. I want to see what he drops. I just... I just cleared out an entire factory of dicks for this sword. That kind of takes the shine off it, right? I think I'm getting a one-of-a-kind family heirloom. I might as well scrap it now. If I do settle here, can I scrap the flashbacks in the workshop for some spare nightmare fuel? I downed some Radex before I go swimming, but in the deep well, this sacrificial pit, there's a couple of mini-nukes, and also this. Krem's Tooth. A sacrificial dagger. More of a sword, I mean. Look at it. I was salty going into this, but this fixes everything. And I didn't need a quest to get it. Just a lone wanderer going around, making a difference. Raising his profile among the commoners for when the common revolution in the commonwealth creates a power vacuum that's gonna get filled by a dashing rogue in a dead man's pimp coat. I'm sick of this horror shit, though. I mean, the world itself here is horrifying and in need of some serious correction, and I mean, who else is gonna do it? Not the Brotherhood. Bunch of fucking rubes in metal suits led by some child who got there through a corrupt system. I'm not against corrupt systems, I mean, how else does anything get done? You think I give a fuck about a couple of farmers who lost their son to some fire dicks? No. If they had me balls, they'd be like me. I'm not a rich man. I mean, I stole my power armor. I stole these guns, mostly. You gotta pull yourselves up, you fucking lazy swamp Yankee bastards. It doesn't matter. I got another mission here. I gotta earn the trust of a wealthy family because I need a full, clean, and modern set of pool balls for my pool table in the bar. If I have to do some dirty work for a weird rich guy, that's fine. Because... Oh, yeah. Some ghoul in Good Neighbor gave me this job. I can't find the bastard again, but I did promise myself a trip to Good Neighbor. I'm supposed to find this guy's sister, and I was told to ask around the third rail. Welcome. Hey, guy. Hold up. I want to hear this song. Okay. Hey, Rufus. Wait till this song is over. Balls. Too weird for me, though. Don't think that won't hurt you. Song's over, dude. What now? I know you are got hell of a good What do you think of this guy? Seems like my kind of flesh. <coughs> Bit of a rough task, but... Now, I'm supposed to talk to the singer, not shoot her in the face with radioactive lead. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Hmm? What's the matter, Handsome? Finn must Don't have been crazy tell me you didn't like the song. Yeah. yeah, I gotta ask you about some runaway rich girl, real big sleep stuff. You wanna... So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for a strong whiskey. For a strong whiskey. For a strong, 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 strong whiskey. <laughs> It actually works perfectly. <laughs> Charlie will be happy to hear that. I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Oh yeah, sure. I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. What did I say about this coat, kids? I haven't been out on the town in too long. I wish the game had given me an option to take some Radex before diving in there. Alright, I think I should be able to make some money by raiding this- Oh, God damn it! The fucking Brotherhood. I can shoot down vertebrates all day long, kids, but I got stuff to do. I need to get the Brotherhood off my back, and there's only one way to do that. I gotta play the story missions. Fallout 4 has a story. I will say that. I don't much care about it. The Institute still loves me. I'm good with the railroad because I wanted to get the ballistic weave from Tinker Tom, but I'm not really worried about the railroad. A bunch of hippies hiding under a church, and I don't really have problems with synths except Nick Valentine, the fucking tryhard, with his noir detective bullshit. Who programmed you to do that? Why? 
The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. Get away from my skee-ball machines and get back in your cage! So let's go infiltrate the Institute. I got some riveting action lined up for us. First I have to go put a holotape in a terminal and make contact with a boring dude who wants to rescue some synths. Then I have to go talk to this synth. Then I gotta go inside this place, kill like a dozen ghouls, get a password, bring it back to Desdemona, and then go back and talk to the synth from before who tells me not to give the password to the boring guy, so I wasted my time going and getting that, right? It's okay because I have to wait a day before freeing all the synths. All this to eventually take down the Brotherhood. They're not fully demoralized after I made their messiah into my bottom bitch. I mean, I would be. So we gotta work with either the Minutemen or the Railroad. Who the fuck wants to deal with Preston Garvey? The man is a walking headache. Another settlement has sent word that they need our help. We've gotta show people the Minutemen can really help them. So I gotta kill more synths, some coursers, you know, try not to hit any railroad agents, blah blah blah. Brotherhood shows up in force probably because I'm there. Either that or the railroad is terrible at keeping secrets. I gotta kill all the Institute goons if I want plausible deniability. Cause I'm gonna have to explain this to Father. Son. You know, in all my years I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. Hey, fuck you, buddy. This is my kingdom. I own this place. All you have is a big shiny bunker designed by a crazy person who doesn't know that waypoints need to be able to point up for me to know where I have to go to get to any of the objectives. When I had you released from Vault 111, I had no- uh -huh. To not only do so, but managed extraordinary. Uh-huh. Why let me out now? After all this time? Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. I was curious what would happen. Yeah, this guy's crazy. He's pretty upset with me for not going all Pinkerton on those synths. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. I don't care for his tone. You pussy. Well, that's unacceptable. I need to get in there again. Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. It's pathetic, all of it. I'm sorry you see it that way. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We got our asses kicked. Does it matter how? The chances of failing this mission were so astronomically low that yes, it does matter. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicion. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting. And you should be there. Stop. Let me see if I have this right. You're gonna invite me to a meeting where all the Institute higher-ups are gonna be. I'm gonna attend this meeting, and you're gonna allow me to carry weapons and wear power armor, right? I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Ha! <laughs> Why? Please, be serious. everyone, please. I am sorry. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we we can talk more. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! That is such a bad idea. I'm a natural leader, I'll admit, but I absolutely hate you. And I'm not gonna stay down here and do science stuff, that is so lame. You don't know me at all, Dad. I mean, son, I mean, you know what, I'm getting off track here. Taste the blade of freedom, and possibly elder gods. Bye bye Institute, hello not having to do quests for the fucking Institute. I'd be shocked if they had anybody left to send after me. You... you killed him! How could you do that? He was your son! You... you better run, because if we find you, we're gonna kill you! No, you won't. Keep it greasy, assholes. Desdemona's gonna be pissed, but she'll get over it. I just nuked the entire Institute leadership. Bad news. They kicked me out of the Institute. 
I can't get back in. God damn it. We knew the whole operation was a long shot. I'm sure you did your best. She's taking it well. With no way to coordinate with Z-114, I'm afraid we've lost our only chance. Um, really? Is that it? There's no other option? Not with the railroad. Without help, the railroad simply doesn't have the numbers to do anything to the Institute. To forcibly free the synths in the Institute, you need an army. There may be a way. Not with us, but with your Minutemen. If you continue rebuilding them... Wait, wait, no, 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 we do not need Preston Carvey. But I fear the fate of all the synths lie with the Minutemen now. Heads up. No. No. Got more no. Hey,